Drop top porch, go to Murray's. Diamonds up and down my chain. Cardi B straight, sunny, can't tell me when we're supposed to be not bitch again. Hey, me, what you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? What you, ooh, check you out. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lynn Lynn. Your girl, Lynn Lynn. And I'm back at it again. No, but I'm here with the long awaited, the overly requested video. Look, I know I only got like 100 or some subscribers, but I got it. It's 2018, man. We gotta start speaking things into existence. So I'm gonna act like this video was highly requested. I'm gonna act like this video was. Uh, long overdue because in the future y'all gonna be like can you do this can you do this video please I'm requesting this and I'm gonna be like I got y'all but until then we're gonna act like it fake until you make it you dig okay so today's video is about my starter lock maintenance and let me tell y'all this starter lock maintenance is just it's just so simple I just barely touch my hair so we gonna stop talking and get straight to this video so I use four things for my hair that is literally it. All right, first thing I use, wild growth oil. Let's see if I can, there you go, boom. This is hairgrownfast.com wild growth oil, okay? How much does this cost? $10.99, can y'all see that? It's white, y'all might not be able to see it. Let's see. Oh, there it is, $10.99, okay? <laughs> you know I use my Jamaican black castor oil by mango and lime. Jamaican mango and lime. This was, can you see this? $7.99. I always thought castor oil was overpriced. Like, dang, what y'all tax me for like that? But, you know, this is Jamaican black castor oil. Super thick growth oil, thickening oil. I use, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I use the spray olive oil sheen by Black Queen. I use this oil that um, Damien gave me when he started my locks. He said he instructed me to spray on my locks twice a week. I use this. Um, lastly, my do rag. Okay, you know, that's it. So those are the four products, three products, and a do rag that I use in my hair. So I'm gonna show y'all how do y'all like my cat ears? Hmm. <laughs> I think it spices it up a little bit. I think it does. I'm gonna just, mm -hmm. hello, meow. <laughs> Please stop playing. Okay, so we gonna act like, so I just got out the shower, you know. First thing I do after I get out the shower, I get my wild growth oil. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I do, okay? So I take my hair, put it up, boom. I go through it, go through all the parts, okay? I go in the back. I just go through all the parts, make sure I get it real good. I hope I'm in this frame. <laughs> hey y'all, just me. <laughs> get it real good, okay? And then I will give myself a scalp massage. So, I just give myself a scalp massage. Mine be anywhere from 30 seconds to about two to three minutes. So, make sure it's good all in there like so okay then sometimes i'll put this the wild growth on my edges but most times i put the jamaican black castor on my edges i just go in on my edges because castor oil is really great for the edges okay don't forget the front edges too girl okay and i just oh y'all hear that it ain't nothing in there and I just make sure it's all there. And then I proceed to rub that into my edges. You know, like any good Samaritan would. Rub that in real, real good. Okay. I take my Jamaican black cast oil. I put some on my hand like so. Like that. Let me get a little bit more. Y'all know I'm not gentle with the products. Not real generous. Okay, and then I'll just literally just rub it on my edges as if I'm rubbing some gel on these babies. And I'll just rub it on there. Okay, like this. And boom. That, literally the last thing to do, you get that do-rag. Okay. Okay, let me focus me again. So you get that do-rag. I like to push my hair back like so. Then, you get that do-rag, okay? You're going to put it on. 
like so boom straight over I like to make sure all of my locks are in there okay I take my ears I just I don't know this is just a me thing I really hate my ears being under stuff if I have on a shower cap my ears on the outside if I have on a bonnet my ears on the outside do rag my ears on the outside I just it just I just really hate my ears being trapped you know I just feel like they're freaking trapped man okay let me turn around so you can see what I'm doing I tie it tie the do rag under like so I try to make sure my locks are like straight because you know if they get bunched up in there they'll be like bent when you wake up in the morning so I pull it okay not too tight because I want to be able to sleep I don't need no headache okay come back around I tie it here not tight okay and I go back around in the back and I tie it one more time but this time I tie it in a bow so you know boom like that and then Hey yo, I literally lay my head down. I go to bed. I go to bed, you ladies. Okay. So that is literally it, y'all. Let me tell you this. Starter locks, they're so easy to man to work with. Like I wake up and okay, let me show you what I do when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay, wake up like this. Boom. Alright, where my where my thing at? Okay, take it off, boom. Do rat coming off. And so, you know, you've been sleeping this on for like five hours y'all let me get four or five hours of sleep and it's like super like ooh. so you just you know run your hands through it do your thing you just you know trying to get some movement back in there wake them up a little bit i know when people actually have like um, matured locks they'll like spray some water or rose water or water with some oils in there on their hair but i don't do all that because these are some starter locks and Damien Walter did not instruct me to do so. So I'm trying to do everything right. Do everything he told me to. Okay. So I can ensure that when my locks are mature, they'll be popping. Popping all you people. Okay. So I literally do this. And if it's one of those two days that um, Damien told me to spray this um, Black Queen olive oil sheen on there. Literally just spray, spray. Let me get closer to y'all. Okay. Spray, spray. Get the back. Spray, spray. Hey, rub it in, just as I was doing when I was, you know, trying to get some movement into my locks, get the back real good, okay, just like that, let me focus y'all, and that's literally my daily and nightly routine, and if I'm feeling a little snazzy, I'm, you know, throw some cat ears on, I got a mirror right here, so I'm looking at Throw some cat ears on and just, you know, do you feel me? With the hoops, do you feel me? Do you feel me? Do you? <laughs> I'm a rock star. <laughs> do you feel me though? And that's it. Y'all, when I have my loose natural hair, I would be doing twists at two shirt twists at night, waking up early to un to, um to take them down, untwist them, fluffing out a fro, trying to find the desired the desired shape that I wanted. Okay, trying to lay my edges. First off, what is laying edges? I laid my edges once since I had these locks, and that was the day that I wanted to wear a head wrap because I just wasn't feeling my hair. I have literally not thought about Eco Styler Gel. Let me show you some products that I am so happy not to be using anymore. For starters, I'm so happy not to be using this dang on Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. You know, it smells so good, but I don't miss it. That Because this reminds me of countless hours of twisting and braiding and bantu knotting and this, that, and the third. Every natural hairstyle you can think of, this is what this reminds me of. And I am not missing twisting, braiding, bantu knotting my hair at all. Okay, something else I don't miss is this dang on Eco Styler Toothbrush Combo. This is the combo of a lifetime when you have natural hair. This is your one and only, your cinnamon apple. Do you feel me? Okay. So I do not miss this combo because I would just be up here trying to lay some edges that I didn't have. Okay. You know, just trying to swipe it on. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, 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 no. Let me take that back because I'm not about to play with y'all. I have edges. Laying some baby hairs that I didn't have baby. These, these are adults. These are grown. These things 
is grown they got jobs they pay taxes all that these is not no baby hairs i was sitting here trying to lay some grown adult job having w-2 form releasing edges okay and it was just a struggle then i would have to get the do-rag put the do-rag on for 20 minutes and then hopefully if i get down on one knee and pray to the good man above my edges would be laid but not every single time and it was it would just be a waste of your life Instead of trying to lay, lay your edges. Y'all haven't laid my edges since that one day that I wore a head wrap. And that was day two of my starter locks. The second day of starter locks, <laughs> I wore a head wrap and I laid my edges. Since then, I have been rocking this. And like, before, like, it's just so weird. Before, I would like be like, oh, my style isn't complete unless I lay my edges, boo. Like, my style don't look right unless my edges is curled up, s up, okay, waved up, mixed curled up, okay. But like now I literally don't think about my edges. I don't think about laying them. I don't think about having a little S right here. Okay. I don't think about none of that. Like it doesn't, I don't have the desire to lay my edges because like this style, it's 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 supposed to be natural, it's supposed to be you, it's supposed to be what you were born with, what you have, not what you wish to have, what is in style to have, all that. You know what I'm saying? So this that's that's literally my that's my, uh, what's it called, my nightly routine, my morning routine. That's how I feel about laying my edges now. Now, don't get me wrong. Once these babies lock up, okay, and I have some style going on where it would look nice for my edges to be, you know, just, you know, a little slick. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, put a little something on there to make them slick back, you know, like a pimp name slick back, right? Okay. But I'm just saying on a day-to-day -day basis, I have no desire to be seen here trying to uh, create some, you know what I'm saying. Y'all know how I used to, or well, y'all maybe y'all don't know, but y'all know I don't have a desire to do that. And I feel like even in this little week and a half that I have had these little starter locks, man, I feel like my edges have thickened up because of the fact that I'm not doing, okay, when I had my loose natural hair, if it was out, I had a puff in my head, and y'all know them puffs cause a lot of tension on your edges. So, you know, I'm sitting here pulling my hair all back, having, you know, like, slanted eyes because I'm pulling it back so far. Look, I just got some Botox, okay? Um, and then I would sit there and try to lay the little edges, trying to make them look like baby hairs and mixed girl hair, which I just don't have. I, I don't have mixed girl hair. I mix with black and black, and black and black and black and black, and black and black and black and black. And then down the line, African and African and African and African and African and African and African. So I just naturally, God did not want me to have mixed girl hair because I'm not mixed. Hello. My mom's black. My dad's black. I'm black. Yes. So, you know, I just, it's just, yeah, I'll be wearing puffs every day, pulling it back, and just taking a blow. <laughs> and then when my, when my, um, Hair was not out when I was wearing weave. I would wear braids. And of course, I would do my braids. I would go easy on my edges. But even so, if you're wearing braids back to back to back to back, and then when you do give your hair a break and you let it breathe, you're pulling it back and laying your edges every day, that's going to cause some breakage on your edges. And now, even in this little one week and a half, they're thickening up. And I, I, just, <laughs> I just really appreciate it. I just want to thank God and Jesus. I just want to thank Gumbo. Okay? So... That's the end of this video. I just wanted to come on here and show y'all what I do with my starter logs, how they're looking, okay. They're really thickening up at the roots. Like, it's <laughs> my friend's boyfriend commented on them um, yesterday. He said, uh, Lane, it looks like it's time for a retwist. I said, don't play with me. <laughs> it's been a week and a half. Don't play with me. Just because, you know, they get a little, <laughs> little, little, little unruly at the roots. But you know what? Locks are unruly. They do what they do. So, hey. Actually, I just got paid today. I'm setting my retwist date for next month, February. It's probably going to be the 25th. So, y'all know I'm going to be lit on here with my retwist. Yes. Uh, super lit. Uber lit. Real, real, real lit. <laughs> Let me go because I'm rambling now. But this is how I maintain my starter locks. I'm a week and a half in. Ain't turning back no time soon. And that's it. Bye. Okay, okay.